I wanted to do a little impromptu video because I was reminded that this is actually the two year anniversary of me having this bike. It has also surpassed 200 miles of usage. So no, obviously that's not daily usage, but it's frequent usage and it's getting more frequent coming up very soon as it's going from my utility vehicle to my commuter vehicle. But either way, for two years, this electric bicycle, the Cyclomatic CX2 folding electric bicycle, has been my only motorized vehicle for the duration of that time. And it has allowed me to stay safe while functioning during COVID-19 as well. In addition to pre-COVID-19 giving me a ton of flexibility as to what I'm able to do in the area where I live. I'm not far from city center. So for that, this is an ideal vehicle. I'm a little bit farther from where I work than I am from the city, uh, but this bike has good enough range to get to work, eight miles, to and from downtown, around about 10 to 12 miles, and to and from a couple of key doctor's appointments, which range from eight to 12 mile round trips. Uh, I think that if I were going to go on a longer trip, there have been several times, I don't think, I know, there have been several times where people really don't mind me recharging the battery on arrival so that I have sufficient range to come back home. And the battery does come out, so that can be something I lock the bike outside and then just bring the battery in and plug it in. Uh, you can see I've added quite a bit of kit to this. What does it have new since purchase? Obviously these panter bags, very well loved panter bags. Would love to replace that. Um, I've been putting my groceries in that and you know, go stillers. I ended up taping my light to this because the rain cover on this ends up also covering where I would attach the light back here. I have one of those poncho types of rain jackets which finally got put to use on Tuesday and was wonderful. And I also have an extra front light and this uh, phone holder for when I'm going places that I legit don't know how to get there. <laughs> Usually anymore though, I just figure out what I'm doing ahead of time and I, yeah, so I've used GPS with the bicycle a few times, but not much. There was a time I went to a friend's house. It's usually if I'm going to a friend's house that I haven't been to before. When the bus is a safe option, this bike is excellent because with the bag and the battery out, it is not too hard to lift, but electric bicycles are heavy AF. Uh, the lightest you're going to see them being is a bit over 50. That's five zero fifty 50 pounds. And you're probably going to see them more in the 72 pound range. So this is a lighter vehicle in the electric bicycle category, uh, especially the low cost electric bicycle category. It does fold. I have videos that show it folding, so um, at the end, I might put a card and show a connection to one of those. Uh, when I first got this bike, I didn't have as nice of a camera, so apologies for earlier videography being eh, not as great. So, you know, but you'll see it. This has been so nice to have. I love it. And you'll see another card pop up. One of the troubles that I did have is the only problem I've had besides changing the brakes. So the rear brakes wear out pretty quick. 
because uh, it's your main stopping power and this is only on V brakes like both sides are just the V brakes the front brakes are loud but all that squeaking I was experiencing uh, is kind of tamed down because well eventually the spokes came unscrewed in the back here and then when they ricocheted off each other a bunch of them snapped and I I can show you a repair video you know and um it took me a couple months so I was literally homebound for two months completely because it took forever to get the parts and then it took a while to get everything together to get it actually fixed and these are 12g probably 130 millimeter spokes if you're heavier like me you're gonna need to check your spokes for tightness but something I did find in repairing this not only all the parts are pretty dang in interchangeable on any old type of like got this kind of battery with like the handle on top you probably got a bike that's interchangeable with the parts it's the controller and everything is about the same but I think that the cheapest piece on these bikes is the spokes because these spokes were they stripped real easy these are called spoke nipples the little um, wrench at the top that holds it in uh, they were really soft metal even just trying to use a screwdriver on them to tighten them down real good the everything was just bending apart so I actually ended up having to cut them out with a Dremel like cut through the spokes with a Dremel and it was a little annoying but it's okay because it's actually way better than it was originally and I only replaced like 10 or 8 maybe 12 spokes but I think I'm gonna get some extra spokes just to have around so that if that happens again those extra 15 or so spokes I have will be enough for a while but I want to have enough for the whole wheel to replace over time so I don't get to that point again and I'm not gonna not gonna leave those spokes in there over time I think I want to just do them in <sighs> so downsides it's stopping power eh, not as good as you'd hope the range is pretty good I have learned to uh, that my weight plus the hilliness of the terrain this is I'm like 220 feet up right now off a cliff so you can imagine what the hills are around here this is um, something that makes the battery drain exponentialize is heavy rider Ooh, look it's filthy heavy rider plus a uh, hilly terrain the other thing about a hilly terrain is that you can get up to about a oh gosh eh, 12 percent grade and then after that it's not going to move anymore i love this bike i'm so happy with it and i just really want people to i like it so well i'm getting a second one similar to it i'd have gotten the same thing again if it was still available